pavement The college papers, dollars of bank savings It's funny how life gets moved and all these changes Boy, I'm a So, Similk. Hey, what's up? Uh, you know how uh, your nickname is Similk? And <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's because you used to be a rapper. And so, yeah. like, when I met you, I was like, what is this white guy trying to be Vanilla Ice or, you know, <laughs> Eminem or something? He needs, a, he needs a special name. And that's how the whole Similk thing came around. Yeah, it's actually at my wedding, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, you know, this is the thing. We've never actually explained about your rap career because you actually have a very history rap career in China. <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah. So, so, how about you tell everybody about it? Okay. Okay, so let me take you back up to uh, Inner Mongolia. I used to live all the way up north in northern China. And one time I was sitting in a dumpling restaurant. I believe it was a, it was a dumpling restaurant or some sort of uh, bon fan, like a rice restaurant. But it's like one of those restaurants where you pay like five to eight RMB for a meal, right? And all of a sudden this guy comes up to me, very dark skin. He's got like long kind of curlyish hair. And he speaks with almost a, like an urban accent, an urban American accent, like you'd find in the inner city somewhere. And I'm in English. And I'm like, what the heck? That's crazy. Get to talking to him. And he's just a massive hip hop fan. He learned all of his English through uh, American hip hop. And I thought that was really special. You didn't find that a whole lot up there, really anywhere around China. Um, so it was very, very unique. And, we just got to talking and over time we started just messing around writing some songs together. And we used to sit in these dumpling shops at night, have a couple of beers and we would write music and we'd record on our phones and then eventually started recording on a laptop and it just became a tradition. We did this over a year or so until we had some tracks. And eventually we ended up, uh, he ended up like applying for different shows and stuff. When we got shows, we did a show for like uh, China Mobile um, which was crazy. It was, oh, I was like, what kind of show is that? It's like live? Did you go out to like yeah. an event or? What? Yeah, it was an event, like right in the middle of the city. Oh yeah, um, yeah, I've seen those. Yeah. Yeah, it was an outdoor thing. <laughs> and there was, it was cool though. It was like the response was really good, even though I was mad, nervous, and didn't know what to do. And Jason kind of stole the show. Um, I was. It was so much fun to see how pumped everyone was, and it was just a good time. Oh, so this is Jason, your buddy. I've met him. He's a really nice guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The internet today is not like it used to be. Because everyone is online and everyone's got their information online, that means there's a lot more people out there trying to get your information. And that's where a VPN comes into play. The VPN that we like to use is Surfshark VPN. It's super easy to use, makes your connection completely anonymous, even to your internet service provider, and you can easily hop around different servers around the world to keep your connection safe. Keep malware out, keep people out that are trying to spy on what you're doing, and also see what the internet's like around the world. If something's blocked in the country that you're in, you can use Surfshark VPN to hop to a different server and unblock that content. It's absolutely amazing. We love it. If you go to surfshark.deals slash advchina, you're not only gonna get a massive discount off a two-year plan, but you're also going to get three months completely free. And that's awesome. Use the VPN that we like to use. And that's Surfshark VPN. So long story short, I end up doing some of these shows and we continue doing so. And eventually I ended up moving uh, down south. So we were doing these shows up north and it was fun. We met a lot of cool people. I met some really interesting rappers, even from Mongolia, that rapped in Mongolian, um, that would do stuff around Inner Mongolia. But anyway, we moved down south and we, we kept going. We kept doing some stuff. We did some you know events for local businesses and things like that. But we never ended up doing anything uh, like we were doing up north until he got us a big gig at this club that okay. just opened up. So like, um, had you been Filming all these like uh, music videos <laughs> I don't and things. Talk about it. I mean, like oh, I want to know because I remember seeing like when I first met you, some you were showing me some stuff, and I saw some things in your I, laptop. I, I was, I was like fair, cringing out. I did not show you them to show off. I, was just I feel like you did. I feel no. like you were like, this is what I do. I record music. You know, you're kind of this is my accolade. This I is think my I thing. showed you some music. I don't think I was bragging about the attempts at the music video. Well, I mean, I just remember the 
he's uh, <laughs> like us cringing out, man. Well, I'll think like, up some of the footage, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah so cool. Bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's so bad. I will say the music is okay, uh, but the. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, what are you trying to get at? I just like okay, look, the rap is a genre to me. I I don't like it anyway. Yeah, yeah I guess. I had a question for you though. Yeah. Like you know how K-pop is uh, Korean pop, so what is Chinese rap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that <laughs> just, tons just, of times. just yeah. Anyway, so anyway, let's yeah. So on. the the basic medium was that we would put beats together. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Jason would usually rap in Chinese, and I would rap in English. But in live, we would switch back and forth to get the crowd going. Nice. And the crowd would go crazy when he when they saw a Chinese guys speaking in English and then vice versa yeah, speaking yeah, yeah. Chinese um, so anyway we would put that stuff up we got a decent size audience online and everything was hunky dory until like I said we got this gig at this club okay and uh, where, we, where was the club what this city? was this is down south in Guangdong oh, right? so, where yeah. we are yeah, so yeah, yeah. This was not, I expected it to be more internationally minded. Yeah, usually that's the case. I mean, uh, yeah, I got a bunch of uh, friends who play in Shenzhen. Yeah, yeah. And, and, this is, and this is par for the course. Like you'll see foreigners around the big cities in the South doing this kind of stuff. But for some reason, when we went out on stage that, that night, we went out there and the whole crowd just kind of had a negative vibe. It was a bunch of rich, Kind of second generation rich type dudes. Right, right, right. Which is what you usually find in yeah, a club. Yeah, we call, call them four dies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's a ton of them. It was packed. It was a packed house, and and it wasn't that late in the night, so I didn't expect everyone to be like plastered or anything. Sure, but sure. there was just these group, massive, massive groups of people that were just not happy to see a foreigner. And I'll be honest with you, like the vibe that I got compared to previously, like what, let's say I started this in like 2011. I watched it kind of go from 2011, 2012, 2013, and it just kind of got worse and worse. Oh but yeah, definitely around about uh, the 2013, 2012 is where we started to see a big shift. At least I, I noticed the, the attitude towards uh, us here, you know? Yeah, and, and again, it was still pretty positive, but it yeah, just yeah. got worse and worse because that night when we got on stage, we were singing one of our songs that usually is a big hit. And all I noticed, all I could see was just pure negativity in people's eyes. They were just getting so mad that we are up there weird i got a beer bottle thrown at me it, did it hit you pull, almost okay it got my pants they were trying to pull at my pants not like pull my pants down but <laughs> i mean like are pull, you sure like pull on him to try to get me to come off the stage oh they're just trying to like physically drag yeah. you off the stage yeah. well hey man maybe your music was actually just that bad <laughs> i mean come on like you know <laughs> hey it was the exact same song we got great response to previously okay all right um it was just a bunch of very very angry people that were just not okay with it and there i heard people screaming foreigner go home if i was okay. to translate in english yeah, yeah foreigner get out right why right. is there i could hear idle chat why is there a foreigner on stage right right, right. Mm. there was just a huge xenophobic sentiment on the on the stage that night and again that's an outlier that's an anecdote mm -hmm. but it's one of those things that was just like why am i even doing this like if, yeah. if i'm gonna have to if i'm gonna be doing these events where it's like in clubs where people are gonna be drunk this is the kind of situation I'm going to probably want to avoid in the future. And I ended up just never making music again, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, look, you just need one of those big sort of racist uh, situations like that to change your mind. I get it. I mean, yeah. uh, you put yourself out there. It's tough when you get on stage in front of a, a bunch of people, you know, especially, especially it's your own stuff. That you yeah, made. you've made you've made this music and yeah. you're catering for the Chinese market because you're speaking in Chinese and English yeah. and they love that usually. Yeah. Like I've seen it's, it goes it's down very great. well. Yeah, it usually goes down very well. And then you get a bunch of people throwing beer bottles and trying to drag yeah. you off the stage and telling you far and I go home I get it I mean why why put yourself in that situation and it's also really dangerous because yeah you can get a mob uh, oh that's forming. the thing I forgot to say the club owner who was really nice and was pumped to have us on yeah he and, and my friend my Chinese friend almost was fighting people but right. he he saw this this could erupt into something bad so he actually ushered us out the back and said no that's like fine you're not you don't need to do any more music and just basically right. kicked this out not out of malice yeah for your own safety for our own safety because and he the knew safety of his place yeah because it was going to be bad and yeah. we were just heartbroken both of us were heartbroken we never wanted to do it again yeah it makes sense i wouldn't either yeah um well you know i've got a bunch of friends that right now play in shenzhen yeah and they're putting up with a lot of the the same sort of thing but it's less about the crowds that are after them but more about the government because yeah they go to these live venues where anyone can play all uh -huh. right obviously you have to you know have an agreement with the uh, the bar owners and stuff but you can go up there and play but only the foreign bands are being targeted with censorship they've got actually like 
people that have to check through their lyrics before they're allowed wow. to play. So they're not allowed to just go up and play live. They have to submit their lyrics to like the local censorship board, basically. There's a guy who they have to go and talk to, and he has to okay it like 24 hours before they go play. Wow. So it's pretty much killing their whole band. They can't do it anymore. And foreigners have been banned from playing at some of the clubs that he normally plays at, uh, his band plays at, which sucks. And the only reason is foreigners, you know? There, Yeah, there's a lot of like performers, like foreign performers for these things, but apparently you're supposed to have some sort of visa. Yeah, you're supposed to have like a, a entertainment visa, I think it's called, yeah, or something, something like that. that yeah. You know, if you're a DJ some... or... But the thing is, no one does. No. I know lots of DJs and performers and they do it. I mean, come on, like... You work full time and you yeah. just want to have a little band and go play a live gig yeah. every once in a while. It's not a profession. They're not trying no. to make, they don't even make money doing it. It's just something I like to do. Yeah. Um, but, you know, China is so constrictive when it comes to visas and stuff. It sucks. Yeah. Anyway, that was just a general, uh, you know, explanation of what happened. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I'm uh, very curious as to what your music sounds like because I know I heard like one or two and you're like showing off your music videos and stuff. And I was, <laughs> it was not it was showing up like, music it's videos, cringe, it's just but footage. Hey, you know what? Like, maybe it's really good. I know you, you're actually good at making music. I know, I know I've know, i seen you make music. I can make music. I'll, I'll put yeah. myself on the back for that one. Yeah, you're good at making music. I mean,. Your choice of ma music that you make is maybe not great, but you're good at making it. So how about we give an option for people to listen to what you what you make? How do we do that? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, I guess we'll put my old SoundCloud down there at the bottom. Okay, well, guys, if you want to, you know, delight your ears or torture your ears, depending on who you are, there's a link down below. You can go check out Seamilk's uh, rap career, which I guess we could probably say has failed. Yeah. All right. We'll wrap it up. Yeah, okay, Let's we'll wrap it up. Yeah, we'll wrap it up. That's a yeah, That's fantastic, a wrap. fantastic pun. Anyway, uh, China's own Eminem over here, Sea Milk, uh, <laughs> and his failed rap career. Now you know the truth behind this, uh, the story. I, I own it. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you, and until next time, you know the drill. As always, stay awesome. Like to choose, the major goal in life is to choose.